Richard Roundtree plays the title role of Shaft in the new CBS series by that name. It has to do with a city street, city wise, smooth talking, very powerfully physical detective. Now, uh, when Roundtree originated the role, it was a motion picture and it created a whole new kind of film history. He became a superstar in a couple of short years, and now he's on television, and now he's on Omelette, as a matter of fact. And that is true. You know, we talk about overnight successes, Richard, and about working hard, but in three short years, if you'll forgive me, you have become a superstar. Is that hard to take? On some levels, yes. Um, when you or the type, an outgoing person, you are used to crowds and whatnot, and, and love being in crowds. On this level, it's, uh, you can no longer do that. I mean, I can no longer walk around Central Park or walk down uh, 42nd Street like I used to. It's just a whole different ball game now. Um, now I'm relegated to spending my weekends in Victorville, California, in the desert riding horses just to get away from it. And that's my vacuum cleaner now. But for a while, though, did you love it? Oh, yeah. It? Oh, yeah. And, it, and if it ended tomorrow, I think it'd be a basket case, you know. Did you get the whole thing? I mean, autographs, pawing you, want to shake your hands, clap you on the back? Oh, sure. The so now, there's got to be some fun there when the ladies admire and follow you around. But does that get tiring, too, after oh, yes. a while, Richard? Oh, yes. There's an old Leonard Cohen, an old Leonard. It's this Leonard Cohen poem. It says, uh, uh, all the women I wanted when I was 15, I have now, and I'm bored. <laughs> I mean, that's an old exaggeration, of course. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Faith and I have been reading up quite a bit on you, and they quote you, you know, they put quotes around your statement, and the total picture comes out is that you are tremendous with the ladies. You love them, you seek them, and you take great pride in your relationships with Is that Richard Roundtree or John Shell? It's Richard, Richard Roundtree. Richard Roundtree, oh, is that in right? the Cosmopolitan article I was reading. I got, why are you looking like Moving around wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Did they misquote you? Um, no, uh, turning it around a bit, yes, yes. You see, you, when you do an interview like uh, Cosmopolitan, you have to bend it for the readers of Cosmopolitan. Mm -hmm. And a large percentage of what I did say was turned around. Twisted slightly. A bit, a bit, yeah. Well, it is true, the magazine is very sex-oriented, but you came out very sex-oriented in the article. Yes, I know. Much and it really dismay. didn't start out that way. I mean, that was not your content of no, what you were saying. No, that, um, you kept interjecting the fact that you must remember our readers, Richard, and <laughs> keep a little spice in there. I said, look, do, with you, do what you have to do, but, <laughs> but mm. in inevitably the article came out Overplaying. Overplaying, yes, yes. But then that's the nature of this character. Regardless of what you yes. do, you're going to get that element regardless. So uh, I'm going to have to live with that. Do you think in the near future there will be one lady involved in a maybe marriage? Or do you see that in the... Um, again? Yeah. Quite possibly within the next 10, 15 years. Oh, okay, I don't know. Richard. <laughs> I give you a nice <laughs> fan. <laughs> Richard, much has been made of the fact that when Shaft came on the scene, for the first time, he gave the black community a chance to relate to a hero figure, a dynamic man who formerly had only been a white man, the Superman, the man who beat the bad guys, who was cool, who had great looking chicks with him, who dressed wonderfully and was powerful and in command. Do you buy all that? Was that true and was that a historic occasion in, in films? Definitely, um, because when I was a kid coming up, the only people I had to relate to were athletes. And uh, the few people in television were uh, the butlers the, doing the menial jobs and the, the tribesmen in the Tarzan movies. I mean, uh, obviously we got tired of that. And as soon as some, someone came out with a film that put another black person in the front, People gonna, black people are going to obviously flock to that. Now, it's, it was very nice being a part of that, but it's even nicer being part of the first television series mm -hmm. on television with a black lead in a serious picture, uh, drama, uh, as opposed to a uh, variety of uh, comedy. comedy type thing. This is another first. Richard, do you see a distinction between the movies that you've made and those like Superfly? Yes, of course I do. <laughs> are, do you, are you resentful of them? I'm not resentful because you got to keep in mind the fact that uh, there are people, a large percentage of uh, the black population, that still relate to that character. But that do you a think that's a poor image for our young blacks to 
emulate. Yes, it is. But then it's so a lot of we have a lot of poor images, and it's a real fact. You have to show that, but not to the degree in which it's shown. Mm -hmm. That's my objection to it. I think it's overplayed. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, all right, if you're going to show that element, uh, why not show the preacher? Yes. Because he is as strong an influence yes. in our neighborhoods as the, as the dope addict. Yes. Um, why not show the positive also? If you want to show all the negative, do you think it's going to soon run its course? You look in the papers every day, and a new uh, one of that nature is being. Well, the name of this game is the acquisition of the dollar. Yeah. Now, whatever is making money at the time, they're going to jump on that Pursue bandwagon. Pursue it. Unless you have people like Sidney Poitier who keeps making, um, for example, Warm December. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's an entertaining film that I'd really like to see a lot more made of. I mean, like Sounder? Everything. No, not Sounder. No? I mean, my grandmother and grandfather told me that story. It took me years <laughs> You're before, not interested in really seeing not it interested again? In seeing it again. No. Huh. Um, I'd much rather see a Warm December. You know, I didn't like Disney World, uh, Disneyland Pictures when they were in Vogue. Uh, Do you think most of the blacks responded that way to Sounder? Yes. 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 Um, yet the critics box off. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, that's another story, though. Yes, of course. That's yes. interesting. Richard, now that you are in a lofty position and you command a vast salary, everybody knows you and you, you're even oh, your own privacy is threatened. Do you find now that people want to make a spokesman of you? Yes, but I don't let myself get into that position. First of all, uh, I am very political uh, to Richard Roundtree but I don't verbalize my politics. I don't think I am, I mean, I'm not a Julian Bond by any stretch of imagination. Do you think it's <laughs> okay if you if you wanted to? I mean, do you, uh, are you uncomfortable with actors who do voice and, and... No, because there's some actors who are prepared. For example, uh, Harry Belafonte. I mean, he's well equipped for that type of thing. But then, then again, there are others. It's mm -hmm. just like movies. There are good pictures and there are bad mm -hmm. pictures. And there are good politicians and, good, and bad politicians. It's well brought out in the last few weeks in our government. <laughs> Do you, like, uh, <laughs> do you like uh, to do funny stuff? Funny I haven't done a, a comedy yet. I have three scripts uh, that I like very much, one of which is a comedy, and I'd like very much to do it. What kind of a, 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 a character would you like to play? Well, this character uh, is a very straight-laced, middle-of-the-road, very meticulous guy who has been brought up to love one woman and something happens that he falls in love with two women. He doesn't know what to do and he's a basket case and it just completely destroys, his, turns his life around. And he ends up living with the two women in Boston. But when, when you realize the, the upbringing of this guy and it's just totally incongruous with his makeup to live with two women and that it is so funny. I just died laughing reading this script. <laughs> but the, I wonder if the women are going to Yeah, they, 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 both of them are there. <laughs> you, were, you were a model and a very successful model before you became an actor. Are you? Do you have a thing with clothes? Because you are... Very stylish. Yes, like right. Today. I've always had a, a thing for clothes. Um, but modeling paid the rent. You know, a lot of people don't realize the fact that while I was modeling, I was just paying the rent. At night, I wasn't going to school, mm -hmm. studying acting. Everyone just seems to think that I just said, bang, I want to be it an actor, and I did shaft. But that's not true. I mean, although I didn't go through years and years of struggles and whatnot, because modeling, I said, I didn't want to be a struggling actor. Well, be a successful <laughs> Richard, did they have you in mind, uh, Richard uh, Hartz, when the uh, time's almost up? <laughs> that's right. Will you answer it the yeah, next time you next come time. by? Next time, we'll keep you in question. suspense. Fine, okay. What was it? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you later. Thank you very much. It's a it's great pleasure. series, and we're proud to have it on Channel 11. I'm hoping it's working. Richard Roundtree, the, the title role of Shaft in the new CBS series of the same name, and we'll be back on Omelette in just a minute.